Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to XCOM Enemy Unknown. I'm the Marmoset, and this is Operation Buttery Stallion. Remember the lines of the last episode? We shot down a UFO over Germany, and now our team is moving up. In the, in the previous mission, Flying Tantrum, our Alpha team got absolutely kicked in the teeth. So we've got a lot of recruits. In fact, we have no one here with a nickname apart from our surviving Captain Zero. So we've got uh, Yukata Hayashi, Dara O'Neill, Amir Gavade, and Alex Graham. So I don't think... So you are support. We've got untrained rookie, a heavy, another untrained rookie, and our sniper. So let's get you moved up into a little bit of cover. And what's this? Battle scanner. How far can you throw that? Wow, you can throw that quite far. Uh, let's wing that down the range. Eyes open. Get some nice information about what we might have quite far ahead of us. Okay, that's really useful. Because now I can freely charge everyone else up into a much better, more advantageous position. You might have slightly higher ranks since you've actually got some more hit points. I don't think we're going to get a chance to do much Overwatch on this first round. I think it's mostly just about getting our squad up into a decent position. Oh, flash of lightning and here comes the rain. You occasionally hear the hiss and whistle of the uh, jet engine. Ah, it's the last man up. Yes, go around that, get over there. Let's see what the enemy has got to do. Now, that should last a couple of rounds or so. You, Overwatch. Right. So that's heading up into the distance. Don't have sight. Well, there's the track, crash track, so we're assuming that our UFO is forward up from here. But we are at our visual range, so let's proceed softly. See if we can't get ourselves into a better position. I'm leave a sniper at the back. I have been advised that I was previously using the sniper wrong. Um, so I'm going to see about doing that, leaving my sniper where they are for now. Can I actually reach that bit of cover? No, none of that is cover. Well, that's really off the side of the field. Uh, run left flank. Change sides. Any alien activity? Noises. You hear that? Yes, I did. Watch. Spot them moving. Blow it apart. So I made the right choice in not dashing up this side. So we've got notionally someone is trying to flank us over here. So let's grab O'Neill. Do we get a spot? I'm interested in what's over here. What, what did we get revealed? More burnt trees. Nothing immediate, but I'd rather have someone over on this side covering it. I'd much rather have some more troops on Overwatch. Let's shunt you along a little bit. Put you on Overwatch. Just nudge everyone over. I love not having to worry about a time limit. I would use the quick, the hotkeys a lot more. But they change, <laughs> um, depending on which unit I've got. So I have to look down and check anyway. Overwatch is not always two. Attack is always one. See? I don't want to use a headshot. Okay. That's a good place. We've got cover from both sides. Still no enemy contact. Do an overrun so you can get me more information before I bring the other two up. No. Nothing. Alright, well there's the edge of the UFO. Now, one of our um, overarching mission objectives is to bring back one of the energy beings. Now, unfortunately, because I rushed deployment, I don't actually have anyone on this crew with the stunner. 
So we are just going to have to settle what we can get on just killing everything and collecting as much as we can. Really hoping I'd have spotted the enemy by now. I think I heard something. Oh, there they are. Behind me. How wondrous. No, they've scurried off into the left hand side. <laughs> and you get to take a reaction shot from all the way over there. Aww. I'll get him next time. You better hope you buddy will do zero. So you do actually have a shot from all the way over here. Does anyone else? No. Yes, and your cover is compromised. Okay. You can't actually shoot from there. Yeah, you can, it's just an awful shot. Alright, no, 27%. Um, better than nothing. 27%. Nicely done. Should give him a few extra points. Now, your cover is not compromised. We definitely did still hear something from over this side. I didn't get the, their repositioning. So you two are going to carry on staying on this flank. Uh, just go to Overwatch. And you just go on to Overwatch. And... Let's see if I can work out where I should put this one for just a few seconds. And let's bump you up to here. And I'm hoping... No, no shot. You need some overwatch. And you still have a shot? No. Don't really want to have to move you up. Overwatch again. Okay, opportunity to ask you to get the extra shot. If he, so if he lands a hit, he can make two attacks. Let's see if you get this one in. Still didn't capture one of those guys, yeah? Oh, <laughs> with the I lightning. Critical hit. I don't think we're alone I've out got here. A visual. Yep. I see you two. Scuttling around. Ah, that's the other thing. That was probably the noise we were hearing. See, I'm still, I don't still know if there's more than one out that way. Alright, that's that turn done. So I know I've got two insectoids on that flank, and I am concerned I do have something over on this flank. So, um, let's pivot around, let's leave these two in position, and move up along the other side. So, Reload. Good to go. Can you get very far? No. Can you? Yes. What have we got? Three bad guys, neatly custard. I don't quite have range on that. Do have a chance of getting a rocket on that target and getting. Cannot move and fire the weapon on the same turn. Grr! Fine. What have you got? 47%, 47%, 47%. Okay. Um, shoot that one. Actually, you know, you're almost out of ammunition. Reloading will take his entire turn. He's only going to get one overwatch. Shoot. Nice. Good. One down. All right, I am expecting that they are going to do one of their psychic tricks. Um, leave you on Overwatch to keep that flank guarded. Can I get you in a position where you can actually see the enemy and shoot? Yes, there. Every nice game. Only had one partial miss so far. 
That'd be dashing. Yeah, go Overwatch again. You're by your lonesome, so you're not going to get a psychic boost. They're trying to pull back. See, dash it off that side, which means he turns up somewhere else. The Overwatch. Let's move up a little bit closer, see if we can get some visual on the inside of this spacecraft. Reload. And loaded. Still not entirely convinced that we are uh, okay on the other side. And see, I have no idea where he's gone, so just give me Overwatch and we'll wait and see what the enemy is doing. Oh, yeah, you did come back. It's not the best move ever done. Headshot, finish. 55%, quite a range. Dunsky. And to promotion while he was at it. Nice. Alright, so I'm pretty happy that that flank is now cleared out, because that's all the possible enemies I saw disposed of. Push up. And show me what that looks like on the inside. Nothing much. Uh, no, you go to here. Because I am still not completely convinced there is nothing over here. <laughs> Paranoia. Paranoia is good for you. I think we're reasonably okay for now. And Alex also push up all the way over here. Cutscene, cutscene, cutscene. So now as I discovered there is something still back over there and I'm going to get hideously flanked. Or not. You are very far away. Let's push you up just a bit while we've got a turn to wait. Yeah, a little bit more accuracy. Alright, here's the inside of our ruined spaceship. So obviously we've not got everything, so our objective is to kill everything. Dara. Uh, dash to there. It's not quite dash. No immediate visual, but give me a watch. I'm going to have everyone pivot round to one side, because I just feel happier if I can see... everything that's going on. I mean, they have a tendency to blast through these walls. So, go there and then give me another overwatch. Here's you two. That's a doorway of some sort. You actually get through that. Hmm, fair enough. It reveals the inside. There's something out there. Yes, that would be the aliens. And the other side of the doorway, if you please, Axe. Overwatch. Okay. Let's see if that noise we heard in yonder distance decides us to have, uh, say hello. It does not. How far up can I move you? There. Good, good. Okay. Ooh. Strange, muffled, odd little effects. Alright, I'm going to assume that's just the special the weirdness of the special effects. And it's not, yeah, it's just alien bullshit. Not anything I need to be overtly worried about. Alright, how far can you get? Without running. Yeah, okay, move up to here. This is actually a slightly, a slightly larger and different shape you have heard the previous ones we dealt with on the crash sites. Let's get this team together. Now you run up to here. I don't necessarily want to open that just yet. I'd like the enemy to come through it for me. Uh, let's swing the camera around a little bit and have a look what we've got on the other side. Cutter. That's not really good cover. That is. As is that corner. Should give me Overwatch. 
and allow me to cover that door. Right, so you still got a move option. Alright, so I can't click on you because you finished. Oh, no, I still have options to do that. Anything worth shooting? Nope. Give me Overwatch so that anything that does go through that door gets fixed. Well. So there's probably something in around the power core. Yeah, that's what that's. So it's two audio cues now telling us something around the power core. Hurry up, Captain. Not immediately a lot of use all the way out here. I suspect probably running on the other flank would have been useful. So the enemy have decided they want to wait for us. Is that a. Yeah, there is an enormous great big hole there, so I need to have opened the door. You can just go around the side. So whatever we're hearing is in the center. So I'm going to carry on my stand policy of keeping my squad together so they can provide suitable fire support. Overwatch. Dash to here. So what I want to do with you in a sec. It's not a particularly useful position. There's not much else I can get you to, but I can do here. Where can I get you that might be fun? That's got no cover. That's got reasonable. I would love to get you up here. I'd love to get you up there and still be able to do an overwatch. So let's go here. Overwatch, and then have you double time to here. Bring zero over to this side of the map. So he's got some kind of line of sight on anything that might actually be happening inside the UFO. There you go. Took a lot of running to catch up with everyone else. So up to here if you please, and then I'm not going to have you do anything immediately. You cross the doorway, which is shut. You come up to here. Open the door for me. To reveal... Energy crystal. I shame I can't capture you, but... The so alien good. flight computer could prove to be extremely useful. useful in our own research. Please take great care in returning it to the base in one piece. Well, I think we've only got one enemy to go. It's only got three rounds. Um, you can't attack, but we go on to overwatch because you miss. You can shoot, do so. Shot failed to connect. Yeah, I noticed. You missed by a very far margin. 28% chance to hit. It's this rookie's... Shot failed to connect. Yeah, I noticed. Um, guy's going to come around the corner and make an awful mess. Probably should have had a couple more overwatches. Come up to here. Overwatch. Didn't do anything. Why did you not move? Odd. I would have thought it would have been much more sensible if you'd moved. Very interesting. Well, now I get to just basically wail on you for a bit. Missed. Alright, you do go on Overwatch. Shame you can't get predicted lines of fire, but... Come around to here. Yes. Your chance to hit. 25%. You mean overwatch. You shoot him. 43%. That guy is proving annoying. And again, he does nothing. It's almost like he's just waiting for me to bring my sniper around. Okay. 56% chance. In the head. To squander these opportunities, Commander. Please make every effort to stun this particular species of alien using the arc thrower. That's what I would have done, but I forgot to Everything bring them with me. Numbers. You're about to throw up. That was the greatest. I'm assuming you're reporting in. 
Though, mission complete of Operation Buttery Italian. No losses, seven kills. I don't think we even actually took a hit. Or No, we didn't even get shot at on that one. That was neat and tidy. Back to base. Landing cinematics. So I suspect we may have got a couple. I don't think we've got any necessarily any promotions on that one, but I think we're cleaned up. Nope, no, we did. Got some sports to be feeling good after a mission like that. Yeah, and just, we didn't even get shot at. We would need so neat and tiny. So, Lock Zero Chang's been promoted. Um, Amei has now got the nickname Pixie. Dara has now been promoted to a support. Alex is now a heavy. Uh, Yukatayashi didn't is active, but uh, yeah, okay. So uh, Operation Buttery Sun was good. So we hauled in caught four sectors, two things, some Illyrium, alloys, button fragments, two UFO computers, damage gear, which we can just sell on the things. So overall, I think pretty good mission. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the Marmoset. This has been XCOM Enemy Unknown. Please remember to like and subscribe.